are you suggesting uh, based on uh, your own assessment uh, maybe based on the people that uh, you've talked to uh, there was uh, some uh, creative accounting uh, during the accounting process well, I obviously don't know because I do not have a hundred percent proof in terms of evidence but if I look at some of the indicators for example mm. you look at the fact that uh, this particular campaign it was not a good campaign. Mm -hmm. It was a campaign where you had <coughs> violence, you had state intimidation, uh, you had the police coming out, as a matter of fact, and uh, siding with the ruling party, the Patriotic Front. You had a situation where the media that uh, was uh, supporting the opposition, for example, mm -hmm. uh, was prevented, frankly, from doing its job, even though these days it may not matter so much because, after all, there is the obvious alternative. The social media, uh, you're talking about, of course, uh, Facebook, uh, mm -hmm. you're talking about Twitter and the other follow. Uh, in terms of managing and disseminating information through the traditional media, mm -hmm. it tended to favor the ruling party. Then you have the issue, for example, of uh, the ballot papers. Mm -hmm. Ballot papers of Zambia, traditionally or normally, are printed south of the Limpopo in South Africa. And it seems to make a lot of sense. In fact, it is even cheaper. But this time around, the ballot papers were printed in Dubai, in the Middle East. And of course, uh, the reasoning being that uh, that was a much better company that offered a better deal in terms of security features. Others, of course, who have looked at the issue say, no, it was because they were trying to create an environment through which they could come up with a plea ticked ballot papers in the favor of incumbent president Edgar Rungu. Mm. 